uh, welcome back. We are discussing uh, uh, Musharaka and comparing home financing uh, through Islamic uh, way with the conventional one. How we can use this idea to finance a home? The bank will join partners with you? Bank will like join like a partner with you. Or a partner with you. Yeah, so, so for example, you get the home. You get a home. Okay. So maybe bank buys what? 80%? 80%. of the house. And you buy 20%. 20%. <laughs> So you live in the in the roof, yeah. <laughs> so, by the way, mm -hmm. does that mean when you buy jointly with someone, does that mean I owe the roof, you own the bedroom, and I own the toilet, and he owns the <laughs> you own each and both of you own each and every section of the house. So it it is something that is undivided ownership. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so here we don't say I owe first floor, you own second one. It, we both owe everything. It's sort of the ownership that you don't divide uh, on sections. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we, just for a simplicity case, we put it like this. Mm. Now, if we want to rent out this house to someone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we want to put it on the market for a rent, and let's say we can get for this house uh, rent, uh, how much we get in uh, Egypt? What, 4,000 uh, pounds? 3,000. 3,000, okay. <laughs> All right, 3,000 3, Egyptian pounds. Okay, if we can get that a month, mm -hmm. how we share? So you, this is a the profit. A mm -hmm. and B. Okay, let, B will be always bank, let's say. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is how much they put B. So what will be the... Well, in case of uh, lose, it will be... Uh, no, there's no lose. They, they just, you are so just for renting. Rent for profit, you're going to get a, you know, you're going to get your rent. So profit. the bank will take 80% from the... From the... From, the, from this the profit. So how do you calculate that? 3,000 times uh, 0 0.8. 0 0.8. 0 .8. All right, so times 0 0.8, how much is that? 2,400. Uh, 2,400. 2,400. So 2,400 uh, will go... To the bank. This is their part, their rent. Mm -hmm. And how much goes to you? Uh, you the rest. Six, six, six 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 okay, six hundred. So this is how you share the profit. Mm -hmm. This is a pure profit. There is no. Uh, I mean, if there is a loss, that's a different story. Of course, if you want to go now in the market and sell this house, mm -hmm. and you sell it for uh, I don't know how much money, mm -hmm. hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, you again share. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how do I now convert this into the mode of financing for a bank? Um, musharaka. Okay. So this is Musharaka. Mm -hmm. We are partners. Mm -hmm. We are doing this thing. Mm -hmm. How do I get this? You know, what I want to do here? What is it my goal as a customer here? I don't have enough money to buy the house. But I want to buy the house in mm -hmm. 15 years. Mm. So that's the goal. Aim is to buy the house. Buy the house. I don't have the money, but I want to buy a house over the period of time. This is what we call financing. You're financing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do we do that here? Yeah? yeah? So Mishana. what do we need to do? In this case, who will live in the house? Me, myself. You live in the house. Yeah. So party A in this case lives in the house. What does it mean here? Means we don't pay to ourselves rent, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So this part is wiped off. Mm. So we live in the house where we don't owe 80% of it. So our rent that we pay here is for the part of the house that we don't owe. Okay. From the oh. bank. You see? So we paying, I'm using your part, mm. I'm paying you a rent. And that's fine. We can do like that. We can live like that. But what is my intention? To, uh, to own the house. I want you to go from 80 to 0% over the time. Mm -hmm. So bank would start with what? With 80%. And then I say every year, month, or whatever, how we calculate it in our little 
computers, spreadsheets, I will buy maybe 1%, let's say, 1%. Mm -hmm. Usually it's much less than that, but let's say 1%. So every month, on top of this rent money, I'm going to give you, 600. let's say, six or maybe one, another thousand for this one percent. So what's going to happen next year, next time? It will be less. Next percentage. time it will be 79. Now bank owns 79 percent. Hmm. Next payment. And I owe 21 percent. Okay. Now how much is rent going to be now? The, the, the rent will be, now the rent will be, if it's like that. So let's say every time I kind of can budget for 3,400, 3,400. Okay, in the first case, I, uh, the, 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 I, I paid 240 for the rent mm -hmm. and 1,000 to buy equity from the bank, mm -hmm. buy, get ownership, okay? So in the first case, now in the next time, that was when we were 80-20. So now we are 79-21. This part, and I, I, let's say I want to always put this much. So next time, this will be, I don't know, I don't have calculator, but let's say 300, whatever, you know. So something like this. It will be less because be now less. you have only renting me 79% of the home. Mm -hmm. However, I have now more money to buy more. So now I might buy 1.1% with this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Until? Okay. Because until after I recalculate. As it, yeah. as, and it starts reducing and you start increasing. Exactly. So eventually what's going to happen in this calculation is bank will go from 80% to 70 okay. to 50 okay. up to the zero. Mm -hmm. At that point, I'm not in need anymore of paying rent, it's mine. At that point, I become full owner, 100%, 100% is mine. Which was free interest. There's no interest. How did the bank make money here? By Musharaka with the partnership. Partnership? partnership. And how exactly in that partnership did they make money from what? From, 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 from the profit, uh, from, from, uh, from, uh, from the money that you are paying. Leasing. It was, uh, yeah. it was a leasing. Problem. Leasing. Mm -hmm. So from renting you. So while they were here, they were always having some equity. Mm -hmm. And this equity was paid as a rent. So from renting that house in that period, they made a profit. Mm -hmm. How is this different than normal home loan in the bank? In normal. Unfortunately, we call it normal. But there is nothing normal in it. <laughs> <laughs> In a conventional bank, how is this different from conventional bank? In conventional bank, you lose out in the ending. You pay more. Uh, you, you end up owning the house, but you end up paying for like two houses instead of one. Okay, let's say if it is the same at the end. Because these calculations, sometimes the bank can uh, make it to be similar in the kind of uh, what they're paying. Mm. But fundamentally, what is the difference? There is no loss in, in share. Okay, so in a normal bank, what is it that they're making profit from? Did they sell you the house, buy the house, no, go any profit, no, loss, no. anything with you? Debt and they, they are leasing you the money. So they are giving you money and they are, they are charging you rent on the money itself. How much money they have, mm -hmm. that's how much interest they are charging you. Like you are living in the money. Mm -hmm. so how you busy. lease the house, they lease you the Money. money. Could you say they are charging you on the time? Of course. That is pure riba. Pure charging you time on the money. That is that riba unlawful increase we yes. said. Mm -hmm. So unlawful increases in case I'm making money from the money. Here I'm making money by charging you rent. Mm -hmm. Let's say in the conventional bank you do the same. But here bank is not selling you the house. Giving loan. Yeah. So, so bank here in the normal, uh, in the normal uh, circumstances would give you a money. Yeah. Yes. So they would give you, for example, let's say how much was this house worth? Uh, hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Okay. 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 So bank here and you become 
owners you jointly own you 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 uh, you rent it out and so on here bank would give you 100 okay so bank here would give you 100 and they want from you over the time to repay this let's say 150 okay okay so this is how bank so we said this is money for money and this is you are buying actually something physical asset if you default in your payment let's say you are halfway through the contract you are halfway through this contract and you still have maybe uh, half to pay 50 so 50 to pay 50 plus interest to pay to the bank yeah yes so you you borrow 100 what would normally happen with this house what do you think they sell it the bank uh, bank normal bank they repossess it. They repossess the home, and then they sell it to 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 to, to get that. Uh, and they sell it to the market. To what? What do they want to get out of this house? The fifty percent. What is the money? The fifty percent and interest. They want to get their share. So they, in reality, don't care about you. What they want is to get the number. So they will take your house. Okay, and all what they want to do is get their 50. Regardless, what will they do to the house market? Because they don't care, house is maybe 100. They don't care if they sell it even 51. 50, exactly, just to get their part. And this is what happened? This is what happened. And what happens to you? They don't care. They don't care what happens to you at all. You could end up paying half of your lifetime. Mm -hmm. At the end, at the end, you have nothing. What do we do if something like this happens in Musharraq? Okay. So let's say something like this happens in Musharraq. You now come to this position, where you owe fifty-fifty, and for whatever reason, halas, you can't pay. That's it. I can't pay. Now, how 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 do we settle this? How do we do? What do we do now? What can we do now? You can't make any more payment. Well, I give you time and all of these things, but at the end, we have to sell the house. Mm -hmm. So we go to the market. And let's say we sell it for 50 again, like the normal bank. We sell it for 50. What's going to happen? Will the end be like in the bank? No. 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 Because you owe 50%. So whatever you sell it for, you get 50%. So now, bank will say, wait a minute. I'm not going to sell it for nothing because I am having some skin in the game, as we said. Now, whatever I sell it for, I know I'm going to get only 50%, whatever is the price. So it's now in the bank's interest to what? To get real price for the house not just dump it on the market. So now bank will actually try to get it for the real price. Mm -hmm. You see, now this small guy who cannot take on the bank and fight them have built-in system that protects him. SubhanAllah. You understand? Yeah, that's true. So here, this, uh, now, how did this little detail lead us to global financial crisis? You want to hear that? Yes. Only, yes. This, sure, sure. only this thing We've explained the financial crisis and complexities before. But look at just this thing, how it led to the initial collapse. Now, in the, in the financial crisis, as you know, we described this before, the loans, you remember those, we said subprime loans, those given to the people who could not afford them. We said they were packaged, sold, people bet on these things, and they took swaps, insurance, and all of these things. We explained that. Take a little detail out of this. You know, when these, when these people, uh, let's, when they went to the neighborhood, these, you remember they sold these to Ninja generation, no income, job, or asset. You no, know? Just, we call them bodybuilder sales guys, you know. So just, when they go to the neighborhood, so this is a neighborhood in U.S. So they have houses there. All these different houses. All right, how's my drawing? Is it improving these days? Yes. Or? <laughs> it's, 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 all right. Now, I can see right. a whole city now. <laughs> it's, it's getting better, yes. So this is a neighborhood in the U.S. somewhere. People, 
did not all these homes, they were building and all so on. So these, these bodybuilder sales guys, they came and they started pushing people to get the loans. They say, you know, price of the house always increase. Don't worry, we're going to give you honeymoon rates first couple of years. You don't even have to pay interest in some cases, you know. Mm -hmm. people, not, people are paying less than the interest. So what happened? And they say, you don't even need the equity to put deposit. Here's 100%, plus no interest. So you had, like, waitress making twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, get the house a couple hundreds of thousands. You just needed to sign the just contract. Just sign. Okay, why? We explained before, they were yes. building those uh, dodgy products to sell them to investment banks. But anyway, what's happened the, is the detail I want to show you here. When you are divorced from the risk as a bank, you see here, we are want to marry you with the risk. But when you want to be divorced with the risk and get a profit, what's going to happen is number one. Let's say this neighborhood houses are about 100. Let's say, let's say all of them are about 100. Maybe this is 95. This is, I don't know, 100 again. This is 103. This is 102. Okay, so all of them about 100, these homes. So you gave them all the homes. Now, this guy is having a problem. This guy here, he is having a problem with normal banks. It started hitting him. They started pushing the interest rates up. He is really now suffering. He cannot make a repayment. Now, let's say he already paid some chunks, like in our case. Uh, maybe they already paid 50%. But anyway, it's not like that, but let's supposedly. Let's say he paid 50. So there is 50 left. Or let's say, no, no, it was not that much. But let's say he 30. paid quarter, quarter. So there is 75 left, okay? Mm. Now, and they say you can't, he, he, he still owe bank this much to the bank. He paid 25. Mm. Now, this bank goes and say, you can't make it, bad luck. You know, we're going to foreclose on you, repossess the home. Mm. How much this bank... He's going to put this house on the market for. They're going to put it for 75. They're just going to get out of it. They don't care what he's going to get. Mm. They want to do quick sale, fire sale, just as soon as possible. Protect only myself. Protect myself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what are they focusing? They're focusing on this guy yeah. and their money here. I still have 75 locked here. Get it on the market. So they go to this agency for selling. They say, put it on the market. And they maybe get what? They maybe get 80 for it. What will happen with these properties when this house is now sold for 80? And now, of course, they get their 70 and they are happy. But now... What was the last price here? It was 80. 80. 80. Now the house here is sold for 80. What do you think these guys in these other houses who also borrow from the same bank here gonna think? Now each of them borrow 100. This price sold for 80. Suddenly all of these houses can they now sell their houses for 100 if this in the same street is selling for 80? No. Yeah. The price so now, drops. my house price is going down for all of these houses. Several months after, this guy having the problem now. Maybe he's at 70 now. So this bank now can't even get 80. So they have to pay 70. Now, this guy, eventually, house will be sold and repossessed and guy kicked out with nothing for 70. And this is the supply and demand. We talked about it uh, previous uh, class. So suddenly, across the board, this guy saying, there is no way I'm going to get anything close to 100. Plus, my loan is now still 80, maybe, or whatever. And he's starting getting very suspicious. By the time he's thinking, this guy having the problem. Mm -hmm. Now, these people, because it's all happening around the country, 
these guys getting panicking, they say, let's just finish it with 60. Now, this is happening now in several suburbs. So just because he's now got 60, what's going to happen with the buyers of these houses? They see houses are dropping everywhere. It's this suburb. There is another suburb like this. So this we can replicate somewhere else and another place and another place. So what's happening? Buyers see this is dropping now. All right, you want 60, it was 100. I don't want it. I can buy 60 another place. So if you want my money, you better put the 50. So now bank realizing their mistake, they say, okay, better lose 10, then hold 60. Sell it for 60. Sell it for 50. For 50. Okay? Sell it for 50. Now then, this become 50. And as they say, English say, good luck selling this other one for 50. It's not going to go. <laughs> so now this guy here now is thinking, I still owe bank 80, and my house is worth how much? 40. 50, 40. maybe 40, maybe less. How does that work? I'm paying interest on 80 while my house is 50. Hardly. What I'm going to do now, I will take my key from my pocket, and I say, see this key bank? I'm going to leave it. Here, you take it <laughs> and continue paying the loan. <laughs> and that's true. That's exactly what's happened. Because in US there is also law. If you do that in the leave it, you can walk away. Bank can't do anything. So this is what they call uh, the, the, these the foreclosures. So even before, because it doesn't make sense. I'm paying loan of 80 plus interest for something half that I already lost. Now, until today, you see how many houses were affected. And this one will do the same soon. Now, this is a big shock. You know, we are, it's a funny story and all that. But imagine this family having to move from the suburb with the kids, new school, new friends, stress, where they're going to live, where they're going to find, being kicked out or having forced to leave. It's a huge stress. Now, how many a year until today people in U.S., U.S. are losing homes like this. It's every day happening. There are houses that I have seen recently on the, there was an interesting podcast I, I listened on my, on my phone. It's called Planet Money. It's by NPR in U.S. And I, I was listening. It's about economy. Very interesting. It sort of gives you overview of certain events that are taking place. And there was this story of a similar suburb where parents had a daughter. And I think the price of their house, there were two houses, you know, the, their house was like something like 150000 and the house in neighborhood was selling like 4050, 4050. And close by, one of these houses was selling for about, I think, 12000 12. And their daughter, who was, I think, not more than 15, 16, she bought a house. She bought a house. And she made money by, when they repossessed the home, you know, they throw out these things. She was collecting these things, selling them on eBay, and she got money. <laughs> so this junk from the house that she sold was worth more than the house. And now they reported in the, uh, episode two that she bought another one. And they say, house next door was sold before for 150, 60. Now, imagine the situation like this. Millions of people. House are dropping down to maybe 10, 20, 30 percent of their value. How systemic problem is this? I mean, you talk about cancer. Talk about cancer and how it spreads, how it eats you, how it destroys you. Is this not Worse than a cancer? It's worse. Mm. It is. How many mm. suicide people do just because of this? How much stress? How much crime? Imagine the crime to repay and all of these things. So this is what we say. One simple thing. You divorce them from the bank. And they think they are protected. You see, the bank who is doing this, they don't think. First of all, these guys are, you remember, they were selling, they were doing this, 
selling to someone, transferring risk to someone, then they transfer to someone, and so on. So they, they don't think. They think, just because I did some clever short-term gain, I'm not going to be affected. Well, you have to understand, we are all, all people in general, as an economy, is like a ship. And you remember what Prophet Salaam told us about the ship, example of a ship. Who remembers? The, the people on the top deck and the bottom deck. Yes. So the people of the bottom deck wanted water. Yes, all right. So they wanted water. All right, so let's draw that. So, so I'm following you. All right, all right. I'm, I'm going to draw this. Uh, okay, let me see. Okay. So we have some sea. We have some ship, okay? Okay, so there were two decks. Okay, so what's happening on this ship? So the people at the bottom deck, okay. they, they needed some water. So we call them bankers, the yeah? Bankers. So they want a water, which is what? Like a profit, Which let's is like say. a profit. Or whatever is the water. So they wanted to go and ask the top deck, but... All right, so these are us. Not you, as us people. <laughs> so someone said, no, don't disturb them. Yeah. So you can uh, make a hole and just take... make make a little hole here, yeah. Uh, Maybe make an, another one here because there are more people, you know. Maybe another another few, you know. May, may, you know what? And then what? It's a sea. For God's sake, we are in the sea, surrounded by water. Mm -hmm. Just make it the hole, and you know we're gonna have plenty of water. Wow, what these bankers are really smart. You know the way, and and not just the water. They got it full on. You know, open the tap. That's why they paid. They pay this guy who came up with that idea 100 million a year. Because he was so clever. All right, so what's the hadith telling us after that? The people from the top deck. These us. Are us, okay? Does not, not do something. Pops, these us, yeah. Does not, <laughs> <laughs> does not do something to stop those okay, people. Okay, so this, uh huh. Do not do something to stop the bottom deck from doing that action. Yes. Then all of us drown. All of the ship. All of the ship is going to go down. They, they're going to destroy us and themselves Indeed. because of the stupid action they are doing. They don't realize. They destroy themselves. We are talking about U.S. We are not talking about Mecca and Medina. This happened. In U.S. in their city. They, they, it, it will affect their kids. That's why you three occupy Wall Street movements. They, they won't occupy. They say, forget these people. What are they doing? doesn't make any sense. Even there was a woman carrying the sign saying, we want to bank like a Muslims. So, but the point is that they need water in this ship as well. The people need alternative. People need a way to do things. But it cannot be done, this water. By the way, even if they get this water from the... It is salty water, isn't it? It's not going to do it. Yeah? Even that water will kill them. You know, if you drink salty water... It will increase your desire to drink it, and it shut down system. Mm -hmm. It will kill you, kill you eventually if you keep doing that. So, so we have to find alternative that puts uh, everybody in, in sort of just way. And this is why we have this a partnership. So that keeps bank in check, keep their desire in check. Incentive. If bank does not have incentive to play nice, then how are you going to do it as an individual?